Listen, followers of Jesus Christ. Listen, followers of Jesus Christ. If you want to get back at them, love them. If you want to get back at them, love them. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, got one of his famous quotes from this verse. He said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. And then he said, hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. 21, verse 21. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. And, and you might be like, well, I don't do evil things. I'm not evil. Listen to me. E e evil is basically sin. It it's, it's, being, it's being unloving. It it's, it's having the opportunity not to do good, to do good, and you don't do good. You think, like, I'm not evil. I'm not Cruella DeVille. Uh, I'm not Thanos. I'm not Palpatine. I'm not Voldemort. I'm not, I'm not Wither Boss. Who else? I'm trying to name all the... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cover all bases. Trust me. You do evil every single day. The best way I can explain this powerful story is by... Uh, this powerful um, example is by sharing a story of Daryl Davis. Mm. This is Daryl Davis a 63-year-old African-American blues musician. He has played with legends like Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, and B.B. King. What you don't know about this man is that he has a unique hobby. In his spare time, Daryl Davis befriends white supremacists, lots of them. He has discovered that the most effective way to get a KKK Klansman to give up his hood is friendship. He goes to where they are, meets them at their rallies, dines with them in their homes. That sound familiar? He gets to know them because, in his words, how can you hate me when you don't even know me? He also is a collector of Ku Klux Klan's robes, uh, hoods, flags, and other paraphernalia. He collects them as souvenirs when KKK members decide to give up on racism because of their friendship. Davis, who was a Christian, has met with white supremacists for over three decades. And he never tries to convert the Klansmen. He simply becomes friends with them, and, and, and they give up their Klansmanship on their own. Davis says he's happy to be friends with former Klansmen. And he also said, it's a wonderful thing when you see a light bulb pop on in their heads, <laughs> the coals, or they call you and tell you they're quitting. I never set out to convert anyone in the Klan. I just set out to get an answer to my question. How can you hate me when you don't even know me? I simply gave them a chance to get to know me and treat them the way that I want to be treated. They come to this conclusion that their ideology is no longer for them. I'm often the reason for them coming to this conclusion, and I'm very happy that some positivity has come out of my meetings and friendships with them. <sighs> Friends, what would it look like? Disciples of Jesus Christ, what would it look like if we didn't hit back, cuss out, give the finger, get back at them with nasty, but oh, so true, comments on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And what if we stopped arguing with people out of anger? Listen to me, it will conquer you. It will conquer you. Some of us are conquered by evil.